Right, the little TR4 IRS, independent rear suspension. Mr. Christopher Sellers, if you're watching, I know you wanted a white one, but we've got a blue one for you. Anyhow, Jacko, jump in, because she sounds real sweet as a little car. So while you're there, you might as well just fire it up. There you are, look at that. What a little sweetie. What a little sweetie. A lovely, sweet sounding little motor there. What we would regard as, it's not quite entry level. These are difficult to describe these, uh, this sort of, these, these cars. It's not TR4s, but it's level of car. So she's a up running, smart, presentable, usable TR4 with some imperfections, which I'll show you with nothing to hide because when you come down, you're going to see them anyway. But I, I haven't had a chance to drive it, but it drives nice because it feels right, the little car. So inner wing areas, engine bay i've taken photographs of it all for you look at that all real sound right and sound make a great little competition car and then we have the usual tr bits and pieces a little bit along the top there look that wing top a little bit here a little bit there a little bit there a little bit there there's little bits here there and everywhere basically um, i'm sure the vendor would agree you'd paint it if you wanted to make it nice because there are little bits and pieces in actual fact oh, I was going to say you're going to get away with the bonnet but you wouldn't obviously because that's a very focal point and you'd do it all but yeah there's a little bit around the badge there's a little bit here and there and as we're walking around it feels and it looks see for yourself when you come down quite solid but there are little bits and pieces we'll just jump into the inside seeing as Jack's got out there we are in fact, just out of interest, I am going to give it a little drive tomorrow because I bet it, it feels tight and right. I bet it drives lovely. And like little bits down the end, down the uh, down the bottom there, guys. Look, and then we've got a little bit here and a little bit there and a little bit somewhere else. A few spares and odds and ends in the back there for you. Again, look a little bit on the edge of the tailgate. A little bit here. So yes, by the time you finish, I think it's safe to say you're gonna paint it. And that door wants moving back a little bit. Look, she's a bit tight at the front and she's got a bit of give at the back. So that just wants moving back a little bit. Once that's moved back, get that door fairly central. That gap will be very, very acceptable. Anyway, but there you are. So there she is. I'd love to think that she's priced sensibly and accordingly, I'm sure it will be. Leaving you guys that window there to get the paintwork done. And out of interest, you can ask me when I come down, I am going to give you a little drive because it feels so right. And, and more often than not, these mm, sort of middle of the roady type cars, um, those that haven't had you know huge restorations in recent times and bits of bit older restored cars call them what you want and as long as they feel about right they genuinely drive about right so i bet tomorrow when i go up the have a trundle up the industrial estate there and back um i'd like to report the fact that she drives really well i bet she does anyhow for now there you go next step come down have a look see what you think <laughs> 